Hey everyone, I'm here today for this week's Local Insider with Ashton and Cam, owners of Straight Performance. So Ashton, I guess without any further ado, let us know where did it all begin for you guys? Yeah, um, well thank you guys for, for listening and watching. Um, but yeah, here at Straight Performance, Cam and I um, came up with the company kind of um, just through our training background, our training experience. Um, Cam and I both graduated from Azusa Pacific University, uh, not too far from here in Pasadena. Um, I immediately went into the training sports performance world and then soon after that Cam did the same exact thing. Uh, we both met at CATS where I was training first which is a Pasadena gym. Um, Cam wanted to intern under me and kind of learn the ropes. I liked a lot of the stuff he brought just from a personality standpoint. Um, the training came second. Yep. And then uh, business ideals, we just connected and that was the birth of straight performance. So How many years ago? This was five years ago. Okay. We came up with the business plan. We've been in years and business two years. Okay. So. And then how about what you cater to? What space do you try to live, live in? Yeah. So sports performance has been our, our main focus. So yep. youth, um, middle school, high school, college athletes have been our bread and butter. Yep. But an extension of our business, we also do adult fitness. I mean, we do community events, wellness events. So okay. we've encompassed it all. Yep. Yeah. How about specific sports? Because I know sports performance can be very specific based on the sport they play. Yeah. So what are some niches that you found maybe that have been surprises? Yeah, um, it's funny. Cam and I have never played sport, uh, soccer. Okay. Um, we come from a basketball background. Yep. And that was our first main sport. So, um, and we thrived in it. Um, we found a lot of similarities in terms of the actual sport small space stuff, agility, speed, um, being effective and strong in small spaces, Yep. similar to basketball. Um, so soccer was number one. And then obviously after that, we started rolling into basketball, football, um, baseball. So okay. those are, have been our main three. And then a surprise for you, uh, golf has been a huge uh, addition to our, yep. our, uh, our business. Yeah. Okay. Do you have anything that just repeats itself in terms of programming um, when it comes to offering, whether it be for kids or, and or adults, do you, is it uh, quarterly that you try to pump things out? Do you do things one and done and hopefully they come back next year? Yeah, so it's, it's more monthly. Okay. Um, everything's monthly. We, we actually are just revamping our kind of pricing and structure. But even for teams, um, adults, kids, uh, high school kids, um, it's, everything's in a season. Mm -hmm. So we try to go month to month. Uh, that way consistency can happen. And then uh, kids can adapt and, okay. and go from there. Okay. Yeah. And then when it comes to the, the type of training that you offer, is it only small group? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, so we mainly focus on small group. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of our sessions are group sessions, um, but you do have a chance to work with myself or Cam or our other trainers that are on staff one-on-one uh, -on -one as well. Okay. Um, that obviously comes with a, with a higher price. Sure. But we try to push a lot. I mean, it's team sports, yep. right? So we try to get groups um, and you don't have to be the same sport to work with in that same group. Sure, yeah. sure. How about in terms of the high profile type of individual, right? Because we're in Southern California, you guys have been in the space for as long as you have. Who are maybe some names that people are like, what, they work with those guys? Yeah, yeah, so I mean, from an actor standpoint, I've worked with uh, Courtney Vance, uh, Angela Bassett. Um, then there's also, um, we have Terry Crews, uh -huh. uh, worked with him for a little bit. And then uh, athlete wise, we have Joey Steele, local, uh, pitcher who's now with the Marlins organization, um, Jared Atkins, who's also local LaSalle graduate, um, play pros for baseball. So we've we've had a bunch. Dominique Johnson went to Azusa Pacific and played on the big three. Beltre? And, yeah, uh, Adrian Beltre yep. as well. We had him over at Cats. So yep. yeah, we've had some names. We have some people come through. So yeah. we also, you know, like I said, we also do one-on-one -on -one training and we, and those also, those guys also go into the small groups. and. Yep and you know show us how to really compete so, okay yeah brilliant yeah so now we've got cam here part of straight performance because it's a two-man team here at, the, at this company so cam tell us a little bit about just your community involvement and, wh and what you guys have done on a consistent basis to try to give back yeah i mean for the past two years we've tried to dabble in a little bit of everything um, so we've done a lot of community events with uh, local high schools so whether it's co-hosting camps, um, any kind of fundraiser that they have putting on, we offer our services as a piece to that, just to add to the um, experience as well as the environment of the fundraiser camp. So local high schools, local 
elementary schools, middle schools. We've kind of touched a, in a bit of everything. Okay. And then you, you said touched a little bit here and there, and, and then let's talk about your growth because that's started to dabble a little here and there. So are you guys just based in Pasadena? I'm going to assume not. No, no, yep. no, definitely not. Um, so over the two years, we've grown a lot um, really fast as well. Um, we're now also in Orange County, so we have a location in Ladera Ranch as well as Anaheim, and we do residential training in Santa Monica at the moment. So residential training as well as other sports performance facilities that we're starting to expand in and grow. Okay, and then when it comes to those, those spots that you just named, is that sports specific that you guys train towards and, and gear towards? Yeah, a couple of them are. So the two in Orange County, they're both basketball and volleyball specific. Um, we have other athletes that come in those uh, facilities and train as well, but for the primary purpose, um, being at a huge basketball and volleyball facility, it's always tournaments run in and out of those spaces. So we, we train primarily basketball and volleyball there. Okay. And then what would be one unique fact that you and you and Ashton would like more people to know about when it comes to straight performance? Um, so performance is not just for athletes. We cater to adults as well. So we have general adult fitness classes that we take our performance style and give to the adults. So if you ever were an athlete or want to train like an athlete, you can come experience our classes there. Um, we have weekly classes, both morning and evening. That way the adult can get those same sport-like experience. Okay. And for that individual that's watching this right now, they're just like, I need to do that. Where do they reach, reach out to you? How do they find you? Yeah. Uh, you can go to our website at trainstraightperformance.com. You can find us on Instagram at trainstraightperformance or email us at trainstraightperformance at gmail.com. There you go. So no secrets here. Gave you guys another local insider scoop on this time sports performance. So these guys should be, if they're not already, your go-to when it comes to youth training, adult training, sports-specific training. They cover it all. So until next week, this is This Week. Thanks for checking in.